our team has a condition that's considered vitiligo, where you can see there's deep pigmentation of her skin. She's had it on her elbows, over here in the neck area. And you can see that she's had multiple treatments, so she's definitely getting a nice result. The laser that we're going to be using is the extract, the extract Ultra Pulse. So we basically are going to set up the treatment pattern. We're going to treat the patient. Is this the patient's first treatment? No. So what was she previously treated at was 400 joules. Enter. We're going to increase by 5%. And we're going to go ahead and continue. Is the current dose yes? So calibration is required in order to calibrate the machine. I'll just place it into the hand piece here. This is the process of calibration. And then we will go ahead and, and start treatment. We'll put these goggles over our patient's eyes, although we're treating vitiligo and psoriasis with this eczema laser, it's not critical, but we'll go ahead and treat it as such. We'll start over here and you can see the device is applied to the skin surface and a pattern of treatment is determined, trying not to overlap appropriately. We try to increase the energy on a daily basis, but we don't want to increase the energy to the point where some superficial blisters and burning can occur. There's no question that the skin is sensitive, but with the proper adjustments of the apparatus or the laser, we can achieve optimum repigmentation. As we can see here, in the areas of white, there are little islands of pigment or little brown areas. That is the cells that produce the pigments coming up through the hair follicles and repigmenting the area. You can see here a nice example on the elbows. This before treatment was completely white and now you can see that little dots of pigment are starting to emerge and will eventually repigment the entire area, make our patient very happy. Certain areas of the skin respond better than others. But with Martine here, we've uh, been very pleased 